It was really, really amazing. I did the talk in Salt Lake in, Sat in Kansas City once. And this is a really extreme Christian couple. And when I got there, they said, oh, blessed that you are here in one piece and that you are here to serve and you are here to express yourself to us and that we are going to get the benefits and the reap the, the bounty of what you have to. Let's say a prayer right now. We're at the airport. I said, okay. So they all huddled and they all said, thank you, Jesus. And they did this little prayer. And I remember thinking, at that moment, I had my eyes closed. I was really feeling comfortable when we were doing it. I thought, don't stop, don't stop. And we finished. And we got home. We got home. She said, we made it. We hate traffic. And that was frightening. Let's just say a little prayer of gratitude. And they all stood there and they said a little prayer of gratitude. And I was looking at everybody. Said, okay. And they said this prayer of gratitude. And I did my seminar right before the seminar. They said, let's just say a prayer that everything will go really great tonight. I said, okay. Now, by this time, I started looking forward to these prayers. And they got around me and said, you know, Lord, just make, make this man be a conduit of your teaching and let him flower and blah, blah. I was just eating it up. And then after that, after the seminar was over, they said, oh, great. You gave all kinds of blessings to people. Let's just say a prayer that everybody will be anointed by you. And they all got around me, and they did that again, and they all said these prayers. And I was just like, <laughs> so I was just listening. And I got home, and I said, well, good night, folks. Thanks for your help. Let's just say a prayer so you have a good sleep. So you can... And by this time, I was like so excited about praying. I was thinking of different occasions. I, I brushed my teeth and I'm going to say a prayer that everything came out of the game. <laughs> and I, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't Jesus for me or any, it was just the idea of being grateful. Even in Judaism, they have a prayer after you go to the bathroom, you say a prayer, you thank God for everything coming out okay. Uh, it's really amazing. So the idea of gratitude is really broad, and you can take it really far, but it's important to think about how you relate to thanks. What does thanks mean? Is it an empty thank you? You know, I, I tell a story the other day about. I opened the door at Macy's for a woman, and she came sailing through with bags, and she was just really entitled, and didn't say a word to me. And she was loaded with all these bags. She needed somebody to hold the door for her. And I was upset for, you know, three seconds. I was upset. And I thought, oh, wait a second. Did I hold the door because I expected, I wanted thanks from her, I needed that acknowledgement, or did I hold the door for her because that's who I am? And I thought, you hold the door because that's who you are. I said, then what are you being upset about? Be happy. This is her problem. Or have compassion for her. That she's so numb. It changed you. Just change that way of thinking. You have to change your ways. Zig Ziglar used to call it stinking thinking. You got stinking thinking from the neck up. That's what he used to say. You need a checkup from the neck up. So yeah, it's important to just think about that on every level.